Light it up, baby. Get in the zone. Damn, that crash is sustained. Okay. Uh. What was the uh, the half forward, half back? That was pretty cool. Uh, God damn, though, this song is so cheese balls, but it is what it is. It's what he's putting over it that's very cool. Uh, I'll make the joke once, so it's kind of funny in the beginning because you know you get on the socials and there's so many people that are like, you know, wait, how old is this video? Oh, it's a year old. Okay, but 1.4 million views. Goddamn. Um, people are always like, you know, like you shouldn't be smoking and influencing young kids. It's like I don't mean to pull this veil back for you, but have you spent any time around like any musicians? Like, holy shit, that and also B, he doesn't give a fuck. So you're typing into the void. Uh, what I really like about the beginning, obviously, kick on the floor because the song is the song. And it's cheese balls times ten, but I really love this fill. Like from center down to Tom, we have a little bit of space, and we come back up. I just think it's a really tasty choice here. Yeah, man. You got it's so clear, man. Like that's such an important thing to have, just consistency in the sound, and we get just such a clear. You got. On the snare drum there. God damn. Simple things. Bang. Those three articulations around the cymbals, man. It kicks ass. But with the visual, like, dude, it, this fluidity is real nice. Interesting. Okay. Whatever, dude. I'm not laughing because I'm not being disrespectful. This is fucking balls to the wall. Oh my god. Very interesting. I was like captivated with the inner notes, all the like putta stuff that's happening. Uh they're not even grace notes, man, because they're stuck out so well. But the variety of the like rhythmic melody we're getting between our stack symbol here and Tom. I, I need gotta go back though, because that's 42. Let's go back to like 28 here to get this sequence. <laughs> Yeah, man, look at the dude. The the way the left hand wrist moves, it's so. We've talked about that in a couple other videos, but this one we're getting a different style. He has his sounds and his fills and his patterns. We're getting a little bit of a, a different variety here from the other stuff that I've done. So I'm definitely enjoying that. One more time, I'm just watching uh, the kind of compositional uh, approach here. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, man. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. Give, that's the... Okay. Yeah, man. That's the shit right there. So, okay. Oh, I got tingles. That was that was a good feel. Sorry, I'm going to fucking geek out on that one for a bit. Uh, okay, so... You know when you're, like, online and reading his stuff? What... A fascinating thing that happens with his videos is everyone that can't fucking can comment. They so much shit gets talked, and I'm like, why are people so insecure when they see something they can't do? They have to be like, oh, this is fucking this and this is that. Criticize, criticize, criticize. Like, bro, you, you can't do any of it. Like, just just chill for a moment. Everybody knows in a top forty band, in any club band, any working band, you can't do this. Obviously, you get fired, bro. We all know that shit. Like, there's like this overwhelming amount of musicians that need to bust through the door and announce like. But you can't do this on the gig. No shit. This isn't the gig, though, dude. This is a fucking social media gig. Like, and he's better at it than everybody. Like, the end. That's it. Nobody has a better social media, fun and entertaining cover drum presence than this dude, man. He's redefined the books. Like, 
it's cool. Like everyone, like, well, I guess people that wouldn't know, like young musicians, they might, they might get on the gig and start playing like this and, or at least trying to emulate it and understand, oh shit, why'd I get fired? You can't do this in a band. Like it just doesn't work. And that could be a whole video on why it doesn't, it just, it just goes against the role of where you, what you need to be. And the band would just fall apart. But, uh, unless the band is, everyone's got chops like this and it's like a meme band of top 40 stuff. And there's this like, I don't know, like a universe of like face melting chops going on, but whatever. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go back. <laughs> this fill that happens is just in the groove at the end of it. Dude, the rim shots on the snare is the the way this is mic'd and EQ'd. It sounds so good. It's probably not even that much stuff going on. It's just his touch. It sounds very, very, very good. We're going to probably be looking at this a few times because there's so much to talk about. Uh, the fluidity from uh, like all the single stuff that's going on between his hand and foot. And then I feel like, well, even on the field before too, we had like some crossover stuff that was happening with tosses. Like it's a challenge to pull that stuff in because you got to practice a, the rhythms, B, the linear of the rhythms, C, muscle memory of it, and then D, you got to add in the tosses. So that just adds like this another element of failure that could happen, but it's not, right? It's all one take here. That It's very cool. Like it definitely, those kind of things aren't needed to get the gig done, but for someone like this guy, it's freaking perfect and it works really, really well. Uh, let's go back again. I want to I wanted get the, the crossover one though because that was super fun. I know it's coming up. Yeah, that was great, dude. That goes underneath and taught. We see that actually, we do that in quad quad lines quite a bit. That's a fun one. <laughs> yeah, dude. Watch relaxed. Look at that. But look at the change. Look at the change in the fulcrum going from playing da, 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 when we're doubling up on that to we can see fingers off stick to fingers on stick. It's very, very cool to watch real time the difference in the articulation style here. <laughs> That's smoothness. Though. Here we go. Watch fingers. Back fulcrum. Off. Now. Change. The fucks, dude. This part of the song is cheesy as hell, though. He's making it cool with the stack symbol, though. Similar fill to the other one. I knew that would come because he plays that one all the time and other stuff, but it fits really here. But that, 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 that's, that's the bass rhythm. And that bass rhythm exists in like a thousand and one song. So it makes complete sense. Again, I'm just going to double down on the comment about playing too much and stuff, but think about it. The groove that's actually happening during that part of the song, during the chorus, when it's just like ultimately cheesy, you know, whenever this came out, you know, I was like, Oh cool. You know, it's like, it's, it's amazing. It's captivating. It got like 8 trillion views on YouTube, whatever. But then after like, you know, five listens, you're like, cool. Wow. It's, yep. Yep. There it is. So you have to play stuff. If you're going to cover it, you got to be able to put stuff on top of it to make it work. And, uh, and no criticisms here, man. Like the stuff that he's playing on top of it, it still grooves. It's still respectful to the groove that's in the song, but it's also a display of percussion proficiency on top of that shit. All right. Let's go back a couple seconds. Let's keep going. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Little variance on that. Yeah, man. Okay, so we had kind of phrasing that we had from before, especially that like B section that we just had as the camera panned down. But the first part was pretty hip, though, because we had not, we, he had not used yet the stack symbol uh, segment there. Compositionally, it just, it felt like a whole, that's 159. Let's go back to 1, 
uh, 39. Yeah, and it's just, you're just splitting. I mean, there's nothing mind-blowing going on there because everything doesn't need to be fucking crazy linear thousand speed, you know, uh, fill to be of quality. Those are really, really great musical. I'm going to go back a little bit further. Let's go to 130. And just the interaction between the stack symbol and the snare, it sounds great. And it fits the groove that's going on really well. But more importantly, it's variety because it had not happened earlier. So you, the listener, are getting a very different experience. And the melody, you're getting like mezzo forte, forte, mezzo piano. Like there is just some good variety in that. It's a really nice accompaniment on the snare drum, you know? <laughs> it's fun to hear that fill get put in different spots. Yeah, man, there it is. The crossover underneath toss it looks so good. Do we get it again? Do we get that sick ass groove? That's the best part, dude. That fill right there. Your clave against that? Almost. Open Gangnam Style. That's so fucking insane, dude. Woo, okay. I was just about to be like, man, we just chilled out. We had that little two, the, the, the two, three clave section going on with just stuff on the bell of the ride there. We're just chilling with the back stick. I was like, oh, yeah, fuck. I've never heard him play something like that. And then he started staring at the lens of the camera, and he's like, fuck you. And he plays all that shit. Oh, I love it, dude. That's, that's, some, that's some alpha. <laughs> that's some alpha drumming. Oh, God. Again. Watch his facial expression, though, once we get into it. Wait, I didn't even notice the bl the blast beat happening in the the snare. I was too blown away. Hold on, hold on. Get the fuck out of here. Double up in the feet sounds real nice in this section. Dig it again. That what a choice at the end over the last cheesy ass vocal to continue that. Over that. Um, it's interesting, all this stuff, like he has the most clean metronomed, um, approaches to anything that is two, four, six, eight, uh, 1632. Like, and then, you know, all that, you know, people were like, what about 64th notes and you know, every 128 it's, it's all relative to whatever your quarter note is. I mean, no one really thinks past that. You are just thinking more of like, how do you duplicate the, you know, muscle memory that you're doing and stamina and technique relative to a metronome pulse. I feel like he has really made all those type of rhythms, which they're accessible rhythms. Anything that is divisible by two, you know, the two, four, eight, sixteens, thirty twos. That's really uh, it makes a lot of sense to a large audience. Um, but what he does so well with that is it's just that's really entertaining and fluid combinations, uh, making it really fun to watch. Now, sorry, I've stopped the video a million times. We could watch that ending part a million times more. 
But I think you'd be like, oh, okay, bro, that's that. You probably already said that. You're probably not even at this part of the video anyway. So anyway, doesn't matter. That was a lot of fun. The song is fucking cheese balls, but man, what he puts on top of it, super entertaining and very applicable. And uh, it just fits this type of gig perfectly. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. You can find a link from my socials down in the video description below. Please and thank you. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, so you catch the next video. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. YouTube thinks you want to watch one of these two videos next. Take it easy. Bye-bye.